All right, let's actually give you a look right here at something that you're going to be paying attention to for, for moms and dads right here. This is a, obviously a shot. This is probably a vaccine maybe of some sort. We've got a school right around the corner. The school year approaches. LDH reminding everybody to check your children's shot records. Make sure they have all the vaccines they need. You don't want to walk in there. They won't let you in there a lot of spots without it. Kelly Hubbard talking with doctors this morning. Um, all right, so what do we got to know? That, look, school's right around the corner. It is. Good morning to you, Matt. Oshner, Dr. Melissa Love says that it's important to get these vaccines because they raise our body's natural immunity. So if we ever come into contact with these viruses, our body has that immunity already built up so we're able to fight them off. Especially important as we start the school year, Dr. Tony Johnson is also stressing the importance of getting your child in with their primary care provider. He says to also get an annual checkup for your child before school starts as well, especially important as we approach and the next two weeks school may be starting for you. It's also time to make sure your child is getting enough sleep. He recommends kids 13 and over to get about 8 to 10 hours. Kids under 13 should get about 10 to 12 hours of sleep, he says. So do you have a child that has been staying up late? Well, Dr. Johnson explains when parents should get their kids back into the back to school sleeping routine. I would probably say about a week or two before school starts, just trying to get them back into the, the regimen or routine. Um, you know, children are very um, routine um, minded, so if we can kind of start getting them kind of prepared for the cycle, then that would prevent, you know, the, the early morning frustrations on the first day of school. Another reminder he has when it comes to health is to make sure your child's backpack is not too loose or too tight. The padding should be on the shoulders. 10 to 20 percent of your child's body weight is how heavy the backpack should be, he says. Important reminders, we're going to have this story up on our 9 News app throughout the morning if you're interested in looking at a breakdown of all those immunizations, Matt.